brought up here in Astra Gunlice, but my, I was born in North Wales, in Bangor. So grandparents on that father's side are slate quarrymen. And then on my mother's side, which is the Ammon Valley uh, miners, but brought up in Astra Gunlice because my father moved here for work and we've cursed him ever since. On and off for 54 years, except I was in London for half of that, I suppose. But I ran away at 18. I should have run away a lot earlier. <laughs> my mother was a local junior school teacher, Penrose and Anis Wen. And my father ran the youth clubs first at Gurnos um, from 1969 to 79, and then Penrose Youth Club until the 80s, sometime in the 80s. Oh, my grandparents. Um, mother's father, coal miner, obviously. Poor bastard, came from the army in Burma, where he had a miserable six years in service, back underground, until he got emphysema and whatever else, and the usual miserable Welsh life, which people somehow glory in, and think it's great, oh, sons of mine, that's weird. And father, grandfather on the other side was a slate quarryman, so he dressed slate, so it was just to split it for roof tiles. But he also carved it into things for decorative items like fans and it benefits from having a lot of a lot more people from outside the area so, so it's like I was joking earlier about the gene pool being thinned um, having a lot more English people in I think is generally beneficial um, and from other parts of Wales because it was a very narrow-minded very conservative parochial hellhole to live in during the 70s and 80s, but that's my own take on the town. It's not my favourite place in the world, sorry. Um, just at the start of Covid, because my uh, financial situation fell apart. But normally I have a farm in Spain, but I live in Kuala Lumpur with my husband, partner, whatever. No, no, I'm on the dole here and just taking care of my health requirements in London and local hospitals. I don't want to be here in its future. <laughs> my whole game plan is to escape. Um, it's hard to tell. There's lots of really hideous housing development going on, so we, we are unfortunately moving to that point where we're going to have a lot of, oh, what do they call them? People who travel for work, so Swansea here and back, um, what's it called, that kind of community? A commuter, yes, commuter, commuter community, without necessarily the village gaining anything as a result of it. So it's already happened. We've got quite a lot of big, hideous brown brick, executive home kind of developments where people on quite nice wages are moving into the area, but they're not necessarily using the area. So unless we can get them or introduce, get businesses to move into the area that, that those people will then use, that it's going to become more of a dead town, I think. And the Welfare Hall and places like that, they have to find new ways of attracting more and more people to come and use them, otherwise we'd lose them as well. Um, you know, you're not going to walk around the village and we're mostly charity shops, and it's not really an exciting place to come. It, it, there's no way of preventing it, but I think there is the, we, you can go to other towns around the country where the, the village itself, in terms of retail, represents and um, makes us to, to get those people to shop within the community. So a shop that's a delicatessen rather than just a butcher or, um, you know, we have one, there's the Kindle shop in Astor, which is a nice middle class, you know, a, appealing shop, but it's on the edge of the village, so it's kind of a People will travel to it, shop at it, leave. There aren't, there aren't enough places in between to keep... It's a dead village already in many respects, and it has moments of life. So we had, you know, obviously if we, have, we don't have the best weather in the world here, so when we had Mary Lloyd at Christmas, they wandered around, you know, lonely on that day because the weather wasn't conducive to... to to attracting people into the village to attend or to enjoy the spectacle or whatever. 
No, we want people to... moving in. You want people moving in, but you want to, the village has to do something to, to make them spend their money in the village as well. Oh, having people moving in is fantastic. It's unfortunate the houses are generally quite ugly. But, you know, because there's no control over the style of housing, and it's just appalling. We've got some shit ugly buildings around um, that don't fit into the environment, whatever. But those people, need, we need to find a way of draining their pockets in the village. Um, delicatessen. <laughs> a good delicatessen, everyone. Less greasy spoon type cafes. Um, a proper restaurant, not pub food. And a pub. We don't have a pub. We're a village of 10,000 people without a pub. A proper pub, I mean, not a boozer or a rugby club, but a pub.